hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel it's you and ox again on this one so today in this video i am going to be teaching you how to create a journal with a um, notion so let's jump right straight into it so the first thing you want to do now now this is my journal this is the one i use the first thing you want to do is to come here come to this private and click for example you just opened your account so this is the first thing you want to do you come to this private click it when you click this private <coughs> you're going to be you'll meet this page and you want to click click on table and now there's a link down below you can use and go straight to notion notion is a free and paid platform but of course the paid platform is going to be better than the free so you can use the link down below and get to notion and um, sign up and do your thing make sure you use the link down below so now the first thing we want to do here now is the columns you see these columns they are very important this is like how we this is just how to journal because you're going to put in the things you want to journal here in this column then you're going to put the you're going to journal them down so we'll start with the name so the first thing is like the number of the trade it can be number one as the case may be so the next column is going to be dates so you click here and you're going to see edit property so type is dates and you now come here you edit the name so you're going to put the name dates And you click enter automatically it has changed so you can come here put any dates of the day you took the trade simple the next column is going to be days of the week but for sure d-o-w so as you can see and you click here you put type the type is going to be select select and when you put select then you want to add option you want to put things like monday you want to put things like monday enter tuesday enter when you put when you type in monday or tuesday the next thing you click is enter then it will just go down as you can see it's down here already so this video is going to be a little bit long but i'm going to try to make it short then you put wednesday which is the next day of the week wednesday i want to put in all the days of the week here so when it's like that when you're done you click out and if you come in now and you click on them days of the week you could pick any day you want from here so that's about it so the next column is going to be pay for me, I trade only two pair at the moment. You come and edit property. Type. Type is um, select. Type is still select. So you want to put in, you want to click add options. And you want to click, for me, I put, I trade gold and USD card. So my options are going to be um, gold, enter, then USD card enter and that will be all you come here to pair and you see that your two the two pairs you trade are, are, are it's already here so the next option is going to be strategy so for those of you that have more than one strategy maybe this is this is a good one this is something you can add i mind you this journal this journal is not supposed to be the same as you can really edit it take anything you want from here the main purpose for this journal is just to show you how to do it finish then you want to come here again and click on type of course the type is going to be select so and that, then you click on add options i trade support and resistance and resistance enter I also trade supply and demand. I also trade London brick supply and demand. So when you come here, you're gonna see that the two strategies I trade are here already. So one thing you want to do is to always shift this thing, shift it closer, 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 because there's no need for it to be long. So the next option is going to be direction 
edit options so you're either buying or selling right so when you click on type you're also going to go for select add options you're either short or long so the first is short enter and the second is long enter so when you come here you're going to see that it's been indicated it's been added so the next option is is win that is do you, did you win the trade or not type type is checkbox type is checkbox so the reason is like that so you'll be able to like click if you want the trade or if you didn't win it then you just you do not click it and the next option is adding to winners now like i said you could either do this thing you could either you 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 don't need to your journal does not need to look the same like my own you can make it the way you like to make it you understand so edit profile and we'll go to checkbox again checkbox the next option is sessions type the type is going to be select so you want to put asia asian session we're going to put london And you're also going to put New York. Enter. And when you come out, you're going to see that that has been indicated. Now, the next one is going to be durations. I hope my mic is still on. And you go to types. I think types is, is text. Let's put that text text because i should be able to come and write one let me say this is the time and um 15 yeah it stays so i like it like this myself you put it in numbers and sometimes it just it will not let you to put things like comma so i like it i like it like this so the next one is going to be risk to reward capital letters risk to reward and um this one is best in numbers so you put type and you go for number understand so that was i can come here and type 3r and put it or maybe or maybe 3.5r 3.5r and leave it and it's gonna stick so yeah that's how I like it. You adjust it. And now the next one is potential risk to reward. Potent potential risk to reward meaning, like for example, you you intended to go for one is to five and you end up closing for one is to three. So you want to put one is to three in the risk to reward. Then you put potential risk to reward, which is what you were supposed to go for one is to five. This is just for you to monitor if at the end of the day the trade happened to go for that one is to five that you wanted for you to know if you're if you if you should be holding your trade longer or no of course it's a journal so that's a very good thing to indicate potential risk to reward click the this thing and you put you click and you put them um, number two so then, then you want to for example let's say okay you want to go for five r you get so clean the next thing you want to do so the next column is news the next column is news add options type you want to go for select
then we um news let's say nfp nfp add f o m c you enter let's say p p i you enter let's say c p i you enter and for those news for those high news that are that you do not need the name you can put others you enter you get so click out and you find out that the news everything has been indicated here so the next column is why i took this trade so this is where you like him um, write a little bit so edit options type is text you understand so in this place you'll be able to write things you can write like i took this trade because of this is that i took this trade because it was this because i saw this and give your reasons for taking the trade so the next column is emotions emotional damage <laughs> so you want to come here and and the type is text too reason for emotion is so that you can just pour your mind talk how you felt in the trade because you find out that if you take 20 trade and you write a particular if you write how you felt you can come back in future and check out and see that i felt the same way in almost all this trade so you now go is the way i felt was it right to be feeling is it a good way to be feeling when you're in a trade or not so you work on that so that's it then you want to adjust it and the last column the last and final column is what i learned in this trade what i learned and also type is text so in this column you're going to write what you learned and everything and everything and everything so i forgot but you can you can add here journal just imagine imagine what i forgot something i'm supposed to put at the beginning or let's say my trading journal my trading journal crazy how i forgot this thing is absolutely not i don't understand and you can add a cover too you can uh, make it look good you can add something something that looks good change cover there's a lot of options you can change from let's put something like the milky way galaxy <laughs> Let's put something like this that resembles a Milky Way galaxy. We'll put it on. If you, if you like it, you keep it. So this is basically all you need for your journal. This is all you need. The way I was able to learn how to make this journal was that I kept the video by my side and I did step by step, followed it step by step. And that was how I was able to learn how to create this journal. This is how my journal looks like. This is exactly how my journal looks like. So do not forget to use the link down below and um, sign up for to create your account to create your journal with them, this thing the reason i'm making this video is because so many people have asked for this video that's the main reason why i'm creating this video so if you serve you well please um write write for me in the comment section below tell me thanks you understand because it's not easy to make this video so let's go guys i'll catch you guys in the next one peace